Hi, so here we have a problem which was sent by Mr. Tanika Chalam from India and this problem we are going to solve using two methods. In the first method we will solve it using trigonometry and another method which was sent by Mr. Tanika Chalam is pure geometry and problem statement is sides of inner regular pentagon are extended to form a five pointed star. Corners of stars connected to form the outer pentagon. Sides of inner pentagon is one unit. What is the side of outer pentagon? So here we have inner pentagon which is a regular pentagon and each side of this pentagon is one unit. So let me write one over here. Each side is equal to one unit and the sides of the pentagon are extended to the both sides to form this five pointed star and then if I join the corners of the five pointed stars I'll again get a pentagon and this pentagon will also be a regular pentagon. See each internal angle of the pentagon is 108 degrees so all these angles are 108 degrees. The angles I'm marking in orange color are 108 degrees so angle marked in orange are equal to 108 degrees and if those angles are 108 degrees that means this remaining angle this angle and this angle they will be equal to 72 degrees because they make a linear pair with the internal angle of the pentagon right so all these angles will be 72 degrees so if these angles are 72 degrees these small triangles will be isosceles triangles and that is why these sides AF and FE and this side and this side they all will be equal so if they all are equal that means this angle is actually 180 minus 72 minus 72 so those angles will actually be equal to 36 degrees so this angle is 36 degrees this angle is 36 degrees and all these angles will also be equal to 36 degrees the angles marked in green are 36 degrees right and here again this triangle triangle FEJ is again an isosceles triangle and this angle is 108 degrees that means these angles will also be 36 degrees they will be equal and each of them will be 36 degrees right so this angle is 36 this angle is 36 and all these angles this this all of them will also be equal to 36 degrees okay so we have marked almost all the angles in the pentagon and in the star everywhere we have marked the angles and angle marked in blue is 72 degrees angle marked in red is 108 degrees and all the angles marked in green are 36 degrees each right so we have marked all the angles and what we have to find we have to find the length of side of outer pentagon and this outer pentagon will also be a regular pentagon because each angle over here is again 108 degrees 3 times 36 is 108 so since all these angles internal angles of outer pentagon are equal and they are 108 degrees that means it is a regular pentagon right so each side of this outer pentagon will also be equal and now let's solve this so first we are going to use trigonometry to solve this problem so this angle is 72 degrees and triangle F AE is actually an isosceles triangle that means if I draw a perpendicular from point F to side AE this will also be the median that means this point will be the midpoint of side AE right and if I assume AF equal to A then AE which is equal to 1 will be equal to 2 times A cos 72 degrees or you can say A is equal to 1 divided by 2 times cos 72 degrees right so this is the value of A and since triangle FEJ is also an isosceles triangle where FE is equal to EJ that means if I draw a perpendicular from point E to side FJ this will also be 90 degrees and this point will be the midpoint of FJ and FJ will be equal to 2 times A cos 36 degrees right or you can say FJ is equal to 2 times cos 36 degrees divided by 2 cos 
72 degrees. The value of A is 1 divided by 2 cos 72 degrees. So this 2 will cancel this 2 and now if I substitute the values of cos 36 and cos 72 which are root 5 plus 1 divided by 4 and the value of cos 72 degrees is root 5 minus 1 divided by 4 then this 4 will cancel this 4 and if I multiply both numerator and denominator by root 5 plus 1 this can be solved so numerator will be root 5 plus 1 whole square so that will be 5 plus 1 plus 2 root 5 divided by denominator will be root 5 square that is 5 minus root square of 1 that is 1 so this will be equal to 6 plus 2 root 5 divided by 4 or this can be written as 3 plus root 5 divided by 2. So this is the length of each side of the outer regular pentagon. So let me write it over here. We have found Fj is equal to 3 plus root 5 divided by 2. So this is one solution and another solution is using the pure geometry which was sent by Mr. Tanika Chalam. So let us solve using that. So in his solution, if I take triangle FAE and triangle JFE, here angle AFE is equal to angle AJF and both of them are equal to 36 degrees and angle FAE is equal to angle JFE. Both of them are equal to 72 degrees. Angle JFA is made up of two 36 degrees angles. That means this angle, this total angle is equal to 72 degrees, right? And third angle, that is angle FEA is equal to angle JAF. Both of them are also equal to 72 degrees. That means triangle FAE is similar to triangle JFA. And since triangle JFA is an isosceles triangle where angle JFA is equal to FAJ, both of them are 72 degrees each. That means FJ is equal to AJ and both of them are equal to A plus 1. And now since these two are similar triangles, that means the ratio of their corresponding sides will also be equal. Or we can say the ratio of FJ to the ratio of FA will be equal to the ratio of FA to the ratio of AE. And we know that FJ is A plus 1. So the ratio of A plus 1 to A will be equal to the ratio of A is to 1. Or you can say a square is equal to a plus 1 or we can say a square minus a minus 1 is equal to 0. And this is a quadratic equation that means we can find the roots of this quadratic equation using the formula. So a will be equal to 1 plus since this is 1 that means a will be more than 1 because the angle opposite to a is bigger than the angle opposite to AE. So A plus square root of B square that is square of 1 minus 4 AC that means minus minus plus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 1 that is 4 divided by 2. So this is equal to 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. This is the value of A and we were supposed to find the value of FJ that means we need to find the value of A plus 1. So 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 plus 1 will be equal to 3 plus root 5 divided by 2 and this is the value of A plus 1 and this is actually equal to the side FJ. So whichever method you use the value of fj or the length fj is equal to 3 plus root 5 divided by 2. So that's all for this video and if you also have an interesting problem you can send that problem to the number shown on the screen and for many more interesting videos keep watching MathSmart, subscribe to it and don't forget to press the notification bell because then only you will get to know about my new upcoming videos. So bye bye till then.